While ortho will lock me into vector tracking horizontal and vertical, many times I need to work at different angles in AutoCAD. And this is where my polar tracking uh, comes in on my status bar in my drawing aids. Polar tracking, if I right click on that button, you'll notice that I have a series of increments that I can activate and right now it's not enabled. Let's look at the settings for polar tracking. Here I can toggle polar tracking on and off or use the F10 key on the keyboard and I can set it for the increment angle that it's going to show me or track. I can add additional angles that aren't in the list uh, so it's customizable. Right now I'm going to set it for 45. When I set my first point you'll notice that as I come up to 45 my polar tracking will lock in. This vector shows me that I'm now at a 45 degree angle and any distance that I enter from direct distance will be locked into that angle. So I'm going to say uh, 3 and enter and that line has now been locked into 45 degrees. I don't have to enter the other angle. And when I set it for 45, it's going to lock in at every increment of 45. So it'll lock in at 90, it'll lock in at 135. I'm going to say 3 again. And as I bring this around, um, it speeds up my drawing because every time I come to an increment of 45, it's going to lock in again. In conjunction with polar tracking, I can set my polar snap so that I can track along my polar angles at snap increments. If I go over to my uh, snap and grid, right click and go to settings, one of the options I have for my snap settings is to use a polar snap. With this I can set my polar snap distance and here I'm going to set it for 2 and we'll say OK. Now with my snap turned on and with polar tracking turned on when I go to draw a line I will get a tracking vector at 45 degrees like I did before and I'm going to be snapping along that vector uh, at my polar snap intervals. So if I wanted a line that was uh, 4 I can just click the mouse once I'm there. I'm going to track over to 45 again and then I will snap out to 4, track again, snap at 4, and come back. So together my polar snap and my polar tracking can work together for uh, drawing at certain angles. Some of the advantages you might consider in using polar snap and polar tracking as opposed to using your rectangular grid or ortho is that depending on the angle that you've chosen, when I'm drawing I still have horizontal and vertical lines as being part of my drawing vector. In the case of my snap, my snap is only going to be enforced when I'm in one of my polar vector angles. It's going to offer me a suggestion, so here I can just click and accept the value of 4. Here I'm locking in at 45 and it's uh, using an increment of 2, but I can override that. So 1.5. I'm locking in at 0 uh, for a horizontal line. Choosing 2, locking in at 45, and I'm going to override that by entering my own. Here I am at 2. So I have the advantages of still being able to, to draw horizontal and vertical lines. I have the advantages of being able to use a snap, but I don't have them being enforced over the whole rectangular grid.